Okay guys, this is uh... So I'm cleaning out the truck, right? So I forgot to just take everything out so I can wash out the bed and everything because dust gets in there. I don't wash the bed out that often. There's really no need to, but this is what my third or fourth trip out without actually cleaning out the bed. So let's do that, right? Um, but while I was out there, uh, Vincent goes by Searless Death Valley on YouTube. Uh, we were discussing Saturday night about setting your truck up and what to bring. You know, a lot of times you bring a lot of extra stuff you don't even need, you don't even use, you don't even open. So that's kind of a good question. Um, I bring a bunch of stuff I don't use. I got a bunch of food. I probably for my last three trips still in there. I gotta get rid of. It's still good. It's a lot of canned stuff. But uh, yeah, slowly gotta get rid of that stuff before I go buy more. But it's there, just an emergency. So that's nothing big. But um, so this is everything I carry with me. I've got that with food, usually canned goods, dry goods, my stove on the bottom. The one on the top, I got a bunch of stuff hopefully I never need. Antifreeze oil, battery cables, um, a hydraulic jack, a, a bottle jack, a block of wood, a 4x4. Four four. Um, what else do I got in there? Oh, an extra air compressor. One of little cheap little 12 volt air compressors, just a spare. Um, I think I got some rope or something else in there, maybe duct tape. Never need that one, so that top bin there goes way in the back of the truck. Because hopefully I don't need to get to it, right? So that one usually goes in the corner, and the one with food goes on this side, so I can get to it from the door without having to empty everything out. Alright. That's, what, that's what's great about this shell I got in here is that the door is actually big enough to access anything. You can crawl in and out of here if you have to without having to open the door and crawl in there. It works for me. Um, but now I usually carry this bag with me. People ask, what's in that bag? <laughs> Just clothes. Uh, long John's pants, long sleeve uh, shirts and thermals, extra socks, and uh, shirts. I'm not even sure. I think a towel or something. I haven't, I haven't had to open it. Cold weather gear, a couple of big jackets and stuff. Um, camp right, tent caught. <sighs> yeah, that's my tent. Backpack, little backpack I've had for years. Assortments of different shoes, but I usually just wear flip-flops all the time. If I go hiking, I got my hiking boots, just some regular Vans, and I got some heavy-duty sandals from uh, Target, you know. No high-dollar stuff here. Uh, this is a cold-weather sleeping bag. And then I got a warm-weather sleeping bag from, like, Target, you know, $24, I think it was. Summertime, you don't need a big sleeping bag. Of course, a folding chair. A folding chair that's also a backpack. It's got straps on it somewhere, let's see. Yeah, it's got a little pouch in here. It's got two armholes for your, if you wanna hike down somewhere and take your chair, this is perfect. The only thing is, from riding in the back of the truck, they get wore out. I got another one. I got a blue one in the garage. It's all it's worse than this one. Same with my bags here for my tent cot. This is just from moving around in the back of the truck, wearing holes in the in the bag. Then I've got a uh, Thermarest sleeping pad. Anyway, yeah. So. Uh, Shade. I've got this old umbrella here. Oops. This is another cheapie from Ace Hardware. I think it was 16 bucks. It's just a beach umbrella. It's been around. It got 
We got pretty banged up there in Death Valley because of the wind, but it's still good. It still works. It just, yeah, for 16 bucks, got my money's worth. Uh, a hiking stick, I think I got that at Ace Hardware too. Now this umbrella, I saw at, uh, I think I was at Walmart or somewhere, and these were like 89 bucks. It said clearance, and it plugs into your hitch. See that? Pretty simple setup. Slide in the hitch, put that post on, put the umbrella up. Now, do I need something that big? No. Is it good to have? Yes. Especially when you're in the desert and there's no shade. Definitely need some kind of shade. So for $89, it's cool, but I've never used it. Not yet, anyway. I also have a uh, an Easy Up I've never used. I think I've, I've lent it out more than I've ever used it. Everybody else is using this thing. Extra fuel, did I need them? No. I could probably get away with one five gallon. But just in case, okay, like uh, somebody else on the trail might need some gas, and that happened uh, the last time we were out. This is another tent. Hey, who knows? You may need a you may need a tent or somebody else may need a tent. It doesn't hurt to carry that along. I mean I can sleep in the truck, but if the truck's not around or something it should happen, maybe I gotta hike out. I actually have a smaller tent than that. I just uh, I haven't used it yet. That's like a three person. And then a sleeping bag pad. This is what I sleep on. It's a exercise mat from I think Target. Perfect. I think it was only like 30 bucks. Although I could probably use two of them. I'm gonna buy another one and double them up. Toolbox, old toolbox. It's got a bunch of my old old tools in there, you know, miscellaneous stuff. I'm not gonna take my good new tools with me. What I really need to do is just buy a new toolbox. This is just odds and ends of stuff I might need. My tie wire, there's where my tie wire went. This toolbox I've had forever. Come close. I mean, there's all kinds of tools you can take. You gonna take all your tools? I, mean, I got sledgehammers and impact wrenches and uh, three quarter inch drive sockets, net drivers, uh, who knows, you, you may need it, you may not. Hacksaws, I do have bolt cutters in my one of them boxes here. Uh, let's see, water, take plenty of water. Usually take two cases of water, plus 10 gallons of tap water. I didn't need them this time, I didn't need them last time, but just in case. You can drink it, you can shower with it, wash. There's basically your drinking water. Cooler. Oh, my other cooler, that had 40 pounds of ice in there and a 30 pack. Shit, I got some beers left over. Got about four beers left over. And then this goes in the back of the truck, in the back seat. This is all stuff to snack on the trail there without having to get in the back of the truck. Got nuts and cliff bars and beef jerkies and muscle milk, uh, juices, raisins, cans of tuna. That, you know, comes with the crackers and all that stuff. Stuff you may need. A couple of lanterns. Cheap old lantern. This thing, perfect. Just enough light. Doesn't look like much, but that's what we used. And this one, you know, the atomic beam. Yeah. Not too impressed with that, but for 20 bucks, yeah, it's not too bad. Gatorades. I always take a pack of Gatorades. That's it. Everything's got a purpose, but did I use everything? No. Hmm. Now, 
Now, one thing about packing stuff in the back of your truck, especially this truck, and this happened in my Tacoma, same situation, is that stuff rubs on your door panels. Now, this is just dust. I think I'll be okay with that. But, yeah, you get little marks in there. Back of the seat. I got my, oh, I forgot my two cases I put back here with the camera and my drone. I got two big cases that sit back here. That's what rubs on here. Dang it. So, what I usually do, I usually carry an extra blanket on top of this stuff and I'll put the blanket over everything so if it does rub on anything, the blanket will give it some cushion. But I think what I'll get is go over to Harbor Freight and get a uh, one of those moving blankets. Cause look at all this back here. It just marks up the plastic. Oh well, it's, that's that's life, right? Oh, don't forget batteries. Yeah, I put batteries right under here in this little pocket because uh, you never know. You need batteries. You don't want to be digging around for them. You want them accessible. Same with the bug spray, the flies were out. Yeah, got bit by the flies out there. Um, lighting, my lighting worked great. What I used around camp was those lights on the roof when we first got there. Lit up our camp area. Saturday night, because we only camped out Saturday night. And those lights run off the auxiliary battery. And so it is my inverter. So I got the inverter fired up. Had to plug in my cameras to get them recharged. And then uh, once we got camp set up, I just I shut those big floodlights off and just left one of these on up here. The orange lights keep the bugs away because it was attracting all the bugs. There's a lot of moths. There's all kinds of bugs, especially at night. I had all kinds of bugs in my tent in the morning. But, uh, hmm. And you see, I got my recovery gear in here. I had to break that out. Compressor. Let's see, what did I actually use out of here? Recovery gear and the compressor. That's about it. All this stuff is just extra. First aid kit, tire repair plugs. This is another compressor. TP, don't forget the TP. So that's that. I didn't want to make this long of a video, but uh, people are always asking, you know, what do I take? What should I take? Well, you can take a lot of extra stuff. Like, uh, for instance, we ran into a couple of uh, overlanders, you know, out there on the trail. These guys had a, a, a Forerunner and a, I think a Lexus, all tricked out with everything, you know, they got the racks and bumpers and mat tracks and all that stuff you know overlanders just somebody sold them you got to have this you got to have a high lift jack and you got to have some mat tracks i don't have a high lift jack and i don't have mat tracks useful stuff but i've never needed them Definitely need a shovel. There's my shovel. The axe may come in handy. Somebody gave me that. Some people from the Netherlands. I figure, hey, there's a good place for it. Fire extinguisher? Heck, the truck should catch on fire with all your stuff. What are you going to do? Better have a fire extinguisher. So I got that big one there, and I got another little one in the back of the truck. Right there. Of course, the gorilla from Razor Road hangs out back here. And uh, yeah, it's my power supply. That's it. It's a good look around. So, what does this truck weigh with all this extra stuff? I have no idea. Figure 10 gallons of uh, gas. Another 10 gallons of water. Water is uh, at eight point something pounds per gallon two more cases of water 40 pounds in the cooler plus uh, a 36 pack of beer 
clothes and all that stuff. Tools, that's like a hundred pounds. Uh, the toolbox is probably, I'd say maybe 80, 90 pounds. With that other stuff, there's probably 200 pounds there. And you throw some passengers and yourself in there, you're, I'm probably a little over the limit. And the limit is your growth vehicle weight rating, right? Tells you on your door. If you look on your door panel, it's got a little sticker there. And that's not including the spare tire, which is 96 pounds. And the extra heavy bumpers. And the winch, which is, uh, I think, another 80 pounds. So there's a good look at things. Oh, i got to run down to the coin-operated car wash and use those... Uh, I just want to use the vacuums there, you know, the Super Duty vacuums. So that's that. Nothing big here. See, nothing fancy. No mat tracks. No cooler. I'd like to have one of those 12 volt coolers, but I think I'd have to add another battery and maybe put some solar panels. But that's all money I don't have. What you see right here is it. Right now, I don't even have a job.